I'm Elliot Sigwin. Welcome to the uh, flight video for flight six of the Bowers Pony Stuart Mustang. At this point in the program, we're wrapping up the initial uh, high risk portion of the flight where we're chasing down major squawks, uh, where we're just ba getting the basic setup of the airplane there and breaking in the engine. And now we're starting to move into the, the data collection phase where we really start to quantify what we've qualitatively learned in the first phase of the program and then start to box out where the airplane will eventually be operated. Flight 6, our actual mission was to just put more time on the engine, this being our last planned engine break in flight. However, since we were going to burn a bunch of gas out of the airplane, we were going to move the CG, and it seemed like a good chance to do a quick survey of the longitudinal stability of the airplane so that we could use that to set up what we would eventually do to test, quantify, and validate the CG of the airplane. <laughs> So I took a trim shot at approximately 1.3 VS, which worked out to about 110 miles per hour. And then measured the amount of force required to pull the airplane off of that trim speed using a stick force gauge. I did it in five mile per hour increments. And the, the idea is that in a stable airplane, it should take more and more force to pull the airplane off of that trim speed. Traffic four with scale down clear three zero attack. Now this is an experimental airplane, so it wasn't designed to any certification standard. So the standard we chose to use, part 25. Part 25 decimal 173 states one pound per six knots to pull the airplane off of the trim speed. This would be done in the most conservative configuration. So I started out to uh, uh, clean uh, power on, and then I went to uh, clean configuration power off, and then I went from that to power off and landing configuration. The dominating feature of this airplane is that huge propeller. So in this case, when you're at idle, that big old propeller is being turned by the air. So it's taking a lot of energy out of the air, lowering the speed of the air and effectively making the horizontal stabilizer smaller. The third point that we checked was landing configuration and idle power. And the pitching moment from the flaps was such that I could not get enough up elevator trim to actually get a trim shot. So we weren't actually able to get that point at all. However, looking at uh, the, the little bit of data that I got while I was there just qualitatively, my gut is that's gonna be actually the sizing configuration for the uh, CG envelope. That is to say, uh, we will experience a neutral stick-free longitudinal stability point first in that power off landing configuration. And that's due to the pitching moment of the flaps, the big gear being low below the CG, also creating a negative pitching moment, and then the big heavy propeller stopping the air going over the stab and effectively making the stab smaller. So what I love about experimental aviation is the fact there are actually very few rules that define what you can and cannot do within this space in the US. However, because this airplane will eventually be operated by people outside of the circle of people who built it, it's my responsibility as the contract test pilot to help quantify and define the box that is, that is the recommended operational area for the airplane. So 
I mentioned that we were using Part 25 as a as a something to compare against uh, for our longitudinal stability data. Uh, obviously, Part 25 uh, is not set up for high performance experimental airplanes for real Mustangs, for replica Mustangs, etc. Et However, it provides a standard with which we can compare against. Whether we define our AFCG limit as being uh, 10 pounds per knot, uh, 10 knots per pound, or one knot per pound um, is up to us. However, it's important to have a standard with which to compare. <music> See that? Five.